Um, I'm Ken Wadibu. I'm from Lagos, Nigeria. Yeah, in Africa. <laughs> uh, I'm a visual artist. I'm a contemporary realist. Uh, what I do is basically merging contemporary art with hyperrealism to make something I call contemporary realism. I got into art from puppy love. I, I used to like a girl six years ago when I was 18 and you know I used to check you know she used to tell me how she loved um, art so I st because I, I used to draw cartoons before so I started trying to draw her face and you know then I was in Unilag where my university is studying civil engineering and you know a couple of my friends come and say yo there's this guy drawing the dean of the dean of my un of Unilag my university that time so I went there saw the work and I was like oh damn so I went back home searched how to draw a face how to draw a human being to look like a human being and I saw hyperrealism, and from there I just fell in love with it. I've been drawing for six years now. Six crazy hard years. <laughs> yeah, six years. Um, the financial obstacle, the... Um, okay, so in Nigeria we don't have a growing art world. So there is always uh, a problem with showcasing young talent, yeah, because everyone wants to showcase the 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 big traditional artists. So when you bring something like hyperrealism to a couple of art collectors or a couple of art gallerists, they go, "What's that?" So I had a problem with showing in Nigeria when I started because it was just a, it was still a growing art community, but now it's a it's a big art community. So six years later. I'm in the UK doing my first international solo show, so it's good. Uh, five years ago, <laughs> after I've, I went through the journey of joining the lead, the girl that I fell in love with, uh, I think, uh, yeah, I was drawing, I, I, you know, I put it on my social media and somebody he messaged me, I was like, yo, can you join my wife? So I'm like, okay. I drew his wife, he loved it, he paid me, all my friends were like, yo, start a business. So I opened this business called Kenart, and boom, we started making a couple of commissions. And I used to have this logo, which I used to sign in all my commissions. It was, it was a pretty interesting one. It depends. <laughs> couple of pieces I can spend two weeks, some of them three weeks, some of them a month, some of them three months, some of them I can be working for over five months. It depends on you know how you know how intricate the work is. Some some pieces I have to wait till people like some of them I use a collage of people's ideas. So I have to wait for all these thousands of people to send me what the thing couple of things are so I can use it and do a collage. Some of them, I use my ideas, my, my understanding of what certain things are. So a couple of things, you know, it, it, it tarries, it tarries, but not quick. I don't do a piece in a day <laughs> because it takes a lot of work. To well, you've done one of your most recent works, which was done in 24 hours, right? <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. That, that, was, that was a challenge. That, that was, I had to do it. Yeah, but regularly, I don't think I would have, I would have taken my time, but you know, I have to show people that, you know, I'm literally the person doing all these things, and if you put me in a tight corner, if you put me in a tight situation, I'll finish it. Yeah. Baskets, gin club baskets. <laughs> uh, the charcoal on canvas, acrylic, um, collages, I love collages, I love collages, I think I started liking collage a lot last year, yeah, newspapers basically, because you check newspapers, they say a lot of things, they say loads of things, and you know, you just want to let people see it, let people understand what the news is about, if people that have missed it, or people that can be able to see it. Uh, what else do I enjoy doing? 
I enjoy doing, I enjoy, you know, doing collages. I enjoy collaging. I enjoy um, so many things, so many ideas. I enjoy playing with UV light. I play playing with UV pen. I enjoy anything that is art. I love doing it. But you know, I you know, I have to be hyper realist, you know, to bring people in. I love painting faces, so I can't leave drawing faces. But every other part of my art is different because of the love I have for different ideas and different um, mediums of art. <laughs> my favorite movie uh, I don't know that part <laughs> but uh, I like movies that challenge me so maybe Inception yeah it's very challenging but if you look at the African movie uh, maybe um, uh, maybe October 1st yeah that's a good African movie yeah <laughs> Oh, Instagram. Um, I love Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I'm basically everywhere. Google, <laughs> Wikipedia. Uh, just type my name, I guess. Ken Madiobu. I, I don't use any back name or up name. I just love Ken Madiobu because I want everyone in the world to keep pronouncing that name. So, yeah. Amazing. I love it. I love it. It's, I saw him, the pictures, I thought it was small, I come here, it's, it's amazing, amazing space, it's a lovely space, I love the way, you know, it's in one of the most artistic part of London, and I love the way, you know, you know, people are passing through, looking through, and they're like, what's that, you know, it's interesting, you, trust, you, don't, you don't get that in Africa, I'm happy I could, you know, I'm happy I can experience it here in the UK, yeah. Their social media page, I was like, oh wow, a couple of artists have been featured there. It's, it's interesting, it's amazing, I, I like it. And you know, it's just an honor to you know, be part of it, be part of the movement. And a couple of years time when I become like basket, you know, you guys will post my work and go, oh, we interviewed him first in the UK, good. So, <laughs> it's amazing, love it. Yes. <laughs>